Hey everyone, in today's how-to video, I'm gonna show you how to use this app called Clubhouse. It's a social media platform with a really unique angle. So Clubhouse, they describe it as drop-in audio chat. It's the first social media that I've seen that is audio-based first over everything else. So if you are on other social media platforms, you know there's text-based platforms, there's video-based, there's photo-based. This is audio-based, voice-based, very, very unique. So I wanna show you how to use it and how to get around the app and my first impressions of it. Now, at the time that I'm recording this, this is invite only. It means that you can't just download the app and get started. Someone has to invite you into the app. So once you do get that invite, you could actually use it. So I recommend you look at the app store here. It's right now only available for the iPhone. Get the Clubhouse app and one of your friends may be able to give you an invite once they realize that you downloaded the app. It may let them know. So once you do get invited, you get one invite too. So you could invite someone else. That's a very unique way and I think it's one of the ways it's growing so fast because it's invite only. So here my friend did invite me into the app. And I could either sign up manually here, type in my first and last name, and then I picked a username, a handle here. So go ahead and do the same thing. You could lock yours in here, add a photo, and you could give it access to your contacts here, especially if you wanna add people on Clubhouse that you already know. And then that's pretty much the setup process. And if you don't have an invite link, you could still download the app and do these steps and then wait till someone sends you an invite link. Then you could pick the different types of interest here. This is gonna help you pick people inside of the app. So I recommend you do this step and pick a few here that you're interested in. On the next page, it's gonna ask you here to follow some people. So I definitely recommend you follow some people here. You could choose all of them or just follow one at a time. It's just gonna make this a better social media experience if you do follow people. It does recommend following up to 25 people to get started. So make sure you do that here. And now we're finally in the home page. And what I want to do with this video is kind of explain how this whole platform works and kind of overview of the app because it is a little bit different than any other social media platform you're used to. Even the layout from doing hundreds of app videos, the layout is also different than most apps. This is basically the home page right here where again, it's gonna recommend you follow at least 25 people. That's what you see right here on top. And then underneath that, these are basically what's called rooms. Inside of each room, there are people having a voice conversation. There's no text, there's no video, there's no photo. This is a voice-based application. You could start your own room too, but let me kind of just show you how a room works. I'm gonna jump into this room, the first one that showed up right here. I'm gonna jump in right here. Okay, so now I'm inside of a room that someone actually created and all these people have joined the room. Now I have it on mute. There are people actually having a conversation right here. I just put it on mute for their privacy. As you can see on top, it says I can't just record this without people's permission. So I'm gonna just respect their privacy, mute this and blur this just for this video. But if I didn't have this on mute, you could hear people having a conversation in this meeting. Now there's three different types of people in a meeting. On top here, there's the people that created the meeting or that have permission to speak. They could mute themselves at any time. I'll show you that when we make our own room. If I scroll down, here there are also other people in the room who are not speaking, but are listening. So you could just be a listener in the room. And once you get permission to talk, you could talk. So you'll get moved out to the top. In order to get permission to talk, and if you just don't wanna be a listener, you just press this hand icon right here and it's gonna give you access to talk if the creator of the room lets you do that. And I could leave quietly. Let me go ahead and leave right now. So that's basically a room. And if you look over here, there's a bunch of different rooms based on some of the interest I picked in the beginning of the video. So I could actually jump into any one of these rooms just by clicking it. And before I click it, I could see how many people are in that room and how many of those people are actually talking. So 136, that's 136 people in this chat room, voice chat room, and then 14 of them are actually having permission to speak. So that's what you see over there. Now, if I jump in here, again, I could see the people in the room, the ones with the microphone icon with the slash on it, that means they're on mute, so I can't hear them. But that's everybody here. And I'm one of the listeners. So don't worry when you jump in a room, no one's gonna hear you unless you press the hands up on the bottom and the creator of the room gives you permission here to join the conversation. 
Let me press this paper icon right here on top because it gives you a good description of how this works. Now this is gonna tell you about the community guidelines, but this is what I wanna show you. So in each room, there are moderators, there are speakers, and there are listeners. The moderator is the person that created the room. The speaker are the people that have permission to talk with that microphone. I'll show you when we create our own room. And the listener was just me. When I jumped in the room, I become a listener. So three different types of permissions inside of each one. You could read more about it here if you want, but I'll explain it as we go through this video a little bit more. And there's a ton of rules in here, content moderation, a lot of useful stuff on this page that you should read. Let me leave quietly again here. So anytime you jump in a room you wanna leave, you could press leave quietly on the bottom and then you'll be out of this room back to the homepage. And if you get to the bottom, you could always press explore and it's gonna show you more rooms here that you could jump in. The more categories you find, the more people you connect with, the more rooms that you'll see on this homepage. Anytime you want to follow other people, press the search icon on top and then go ahead and find people. You could also find what's called clubs. So for example, if I look up a video, for example, I could look up people that have that as their username and I could go to clubs and see people, video editors in the US, creative photo and video locations and so on based on what I search. So I do recommend you follow some clubs and a lot of people here to give you a full experience on the homepage. That's on the search option, the explore page. Now there's another icon right here on the very bottom next to start room, press this. And this basically shows you people that are available to chat. You could use this as a chat platform here and start a room with one-on-one -on -one conversations. You don't have to jump into those public rooms. But let's go ahead and create our own room so I could explain this in a little bit more detail. Let's go ahead and press start a room. And there's three different types of rooms you could create in this app. One is open, like the one I just showed you where we jump in, anybody could jump into that room. There's social. Social is you could start a room with people that you follow. So it says people I follow here. So I would press start and then go from there. And then I could do a closed room, which is pr probably what I wanna pick here. So I could choose very specific people to have a conversation with in that room. But those are your three different options. And you could always add a topic here. So if you're doing an open room where anybody could join in, you should give it a descriptive topic here so people know what this room is all about before they jump in. So here, I just created an open room. I'm talking right now so you could see the little graphic around me as I'm talking. I could mute myself anytime. Looks like no one else is joining. I didn't give this room a title just because of this video. I could always press the plus sign here to ping people into the room. So people that I follow that are active online right now, I could press the plus sign. And if I press this option, it shows me who's raised their hand that's in this room. So if I have a lot of people and I see a raised hand, I could go ahead and invite them to speak here on that. So that's all you see over here. You could always leave the room quietly too. And you could always end the room too. So if I press the three dots, end the room, that will end this room now. And you can see on top, it says room ended. So that's how this page works. So besides joining rooms that exist openly on this platform and creating your own, you also have some options on top. You could go ahead and press the invite option right here to authorize contacts here. Now this is where you would invite someone. You get one invite, at least at, at the time that I'm recording this. So it's an invite only platform. I haven't used mine just yet. I'm just saving it for someone. The bell icon is gonna show all your activity on this platform and your profile picture if you press that. It's gonna bring you to this page. It's gonna show how many people are following you and who you're following. And you could link it to your Twitter and your Instagram all over here. But really where everything happens in this is this homepage right here where I could start a room, three different options as far as the room goes, open to open to everybody on the platform, social to people that I follow, and closed for rooms here that I have very specific control on who is going to get access. Outside of creating your own, you could join any room at any time and raise your hand so you could get access to speaking or just be a listener in the room. And that is the brief overview of the Clubhouse app. And I just wanted to make a quick video to show you around and I'll make more videos covering this in more detail later on. If you don't have an invite, text your friends to see if someone has an invite that could help you join this platform. Thanks again for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up. I post these kind of videos every single day on this channel and I hope to see you next time.